Hi everyone, my name is Nathan Nino and I'm a fitness trainer from Sergis Management Services. In today's program, we'll be doing a workout for adults and all those who are at home during the We'll be doing a warm-up. A warm-up consists of four exercises and we'll be doing it and after the warm-up, we'll proceed to the set A and set B exercises and we'll proceed to a cool down. So, we'll start with the warm-up. So, we'll start with the warm-up. The warm-up first exercise is called the steam engine. To perform this exercise, both your hands place behind your head. Okay, after you place your hands behind your head, make sure that you do not pull your head down at any more any time so that you don't cause strain to your neck. And when you're performing this exercise, bring your elbow to the alternate knee. When you are doing this exercise, make sure that your elbow is touches the alternate knee and you remember to breathe in and breathe out. How you breathe in and breathe out during this exercise is when your elbow touches your knee, you breathe out. And when you return to this neutral position, you breathe in. So the exercise goes like... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We will be doing this exercise for one minute. So the next exercise we are going to be doing is called arm rotations. To perform this exercise, make sure that both your hands okay, are level in a straight neutral position. Make sure you do clockwise, small circle, medium circle, big circles. For anti-clockwise, small circle, medium circle, big circles. We will perform this exercise 10 reps each, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So here's the exercise goes. One, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Medium circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Large circles. Do take note, during this exercise, you need to breathe in and breathe out. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, anti-clockwise. Remember, both hands straight up, right off the ground, back straight, and then you perform the exercise. Small circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Medium circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, by now, you should be feeling a slight sensation in your shoulders. Last circles, last exercise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The next exercise for the warm up will be your dynamic trunk stretch. For this exercise, what you'll be doing is right hand on your hips, left hand on your head, straight up. Performing the exercise, remember, keep your, your legs. Shoulder leg, hands up, left hand on the hip, and then you stretch. One, two, three, four, stretch. Up. Two, two, three, four, stretch. Up. Three, two, three, four, stretch. Up. Remember to breathe in and breathe up. Four, two, three, four, stretch. Last. 2, 3, 4, stretch. Now, change. Left hand on top, right hand on your hips. Exercise, perform the exercise. 1, 2, 3, 4, stretch. 2, 2, 3, 4, stretch. 3, 2, 3, 4, stretch. 4, 2, 3, 4, stretch. Last, 2, 3, 4, stretch. Stretch. Remember when performing this exercise, do not place your hands and straight away go into this version that you might cause any injury to your hips or your legs. Remember to gradually stretch your muscles. And the next exercise we will be doing, the last exercise of the warm up is leg swinging. For this exercise, what you can do is you can hold a wall for any chair or wall for any kind of support. And then what you can do is your left leg 
you start to swing front and back. You do this each leg for 10 repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, front, back, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now change legs. One, two. Remember while doing this exercise, keep your knees straight, do not bend them. Perform the exercise straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the four exercises that you do for the warm-up. Now we've come to the end of the warm-up, we'll proceed to the set eight exercise. We've come to the set A. In set A, we have four exercises. The first exercise is, is going to be the wall push up. So, in this exercise, what we're going to be doing is find yourself a wall that is stable enough. Make sure that you take both your hands, place on the wall, okay? Make sure that your feet is not too far away from the wall and make sure that you're in a 75 degree angle. In this exercise, make sure that your elbows is not flat up, straight tucked in, and you perform the exercise. The counting of this exercise goes. One, two, three, four. You know, by doing this exercise, it really activates your triceps and your chest muscles. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Do this exercise for ten reps. Next time you'll be doing the windmill exercise. This exercise activates your core muscle. And in this exercise, make sure that you keep your hands straight. You do not go beyond your knees and it might stress your lower back. And when you're doing this exercise, make sure that you look to the right and to the left as much as possible so that it activates your core. Do this exercise for 20 rotations. So the exercise goes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now change legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now change legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now change legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, se
core. Remember, breathing in and breathing out is the key to the core exercises. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here we go, we have done the seated core exercise and the regress version of single leg seated core exercise. The last exercise of the set A is called the eccentric chair squat. This exercise using a chair helps your quadriceps and your half muscles. So in this exercise, make sure you look straight, okay, you not slouch. Make sure that your knees are not bent forward, not beyond your toes, and you perform the eccentric chair exercise squat. One, two. Remember, take note when you're going down, it should be twice as slow compared to when you're standing up. The purpose is because this is to train older adults to reduce impact in the event of a fall. And furthermore, when you're doing this exercise, if let's just say that you find it difficult to do it, you can't balance for some reason. If you have the arm of your chair, you can hold them and perform this exercise. For instance, one. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe. In. Five. Six. Take note that your knees should not bend over your toes, keep your body straight, look forward and if you have difficulties using to balance without the arm of a chair, you can use the arm of a chair to perform this exercise and lastly, make sure when you're going down, you go as twice as slow compared to when you're coming up and repeat this exercise for 10 reps. So we have come to the end of set A, take a 2 minutes break and then we move on to set B. Right now, we're going to do set B. The first exercise is called the standing shoulder press. In this exercise, it's an upper body exercise. For this exercise, you need two water bottles shown in the video here. And we'll be trained. Remember, you have to keep your body straight. Make sure you don't slouch. And you perform the exercise while bracing your core. So, for 10 reps. And in this exercise, you must remember that you're training your shoulders. Please perform the exercise with your So, let's begin. In this exercise, remember, you need to keep your shoulders slightly front and above of your shoulder legs. This is to actually have safe shoulder muscle activation. This is how you perform the standing shoulder press. One. Two. Three. Four. Remember, this exercise up to your shoulder, your rear, middle, and anterior deltoids. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So this is your standing shoulder press. So the next exercise we're going to be performing is called the seated back extension. It's actually a core exercise. For this exercise, remember to keep your back straight. Take both your palms, lay and then behind the shins, and then you slide down and up for 10 reps. You begin the exercise. One, two, three. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. When you go down, breathe up, you breathe in, you breathe out. Six, seven, Last exercise of set B is called the standing hip abductions. It's a lower body exercise. For this exercise, using a chair, hold the chair on to support back balance. Lift your leg sideways, each leg 10 times. So, as 
exercise to release what? Two. Remember, do not bend your knees, keep it straight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Going on to the next leg, I'd like to just remind you that you need to be able to breathe in and breathe out during this exercise. And doing this exercise really helps for removing the pain in your hips and your knees. Moving on to the next leg, turn around, place your hands for balance and support, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. the end of set B, let's move on to the cool down. So we have come to the cool down session. In this cool down, the first exercise we will be doing is called the marching on the spot. It's similar to jogging on the spot, but what you're going to be doing in this exercise is raising your knee up high continuously 90 degrees. Do not 45. Now bring it all the way 90 degrees, hands by the side, and you continue marching on the spot. If you need support or you don't have your balance, hold on to a wall or a chair and then you march on the spot for 30 seconds. So let's begin the exercise. So in this exercise is very good because you are targeting your cardiovascular. And we will do breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Eighty. Four, three, two, one. So the next exercise we're gonna do in this pull down is called the side stretch. For this exercise, left hand in the air, right hand holding your hip. Hold it there for 20 seconds, side, stretching to your right side. Exercise, begin. So 
now we move on to the next exercise. It's called a calf stretch. In this exercise, you can use a wall, place both hands on the wall for support. Make sure that your back, the left leg, this back, make sure both toes pointing straight. And perform the exercise. And make sure that your left leg, your knee doesn't bend, make it keep it straight. Right knee in the front, okay, slightly bend, and start the exercise for 20 seconds. Lean forward, one.